So we're here this morning with Nicholas Van Migam, who's going to, who's one of the co-editors of this exciting new application that was released at uh, PCR London Vals. Please introduce yourself and tell us a little about the application of which you were one of the co-editors. So I'm Nicolas Van Migam, I'm interventional cardiologist in the Thorax Center in uh, Rotterdam. And uh, indeed, I've, I've, I'm one of the co-editors of the Tavi Atlas, and it has been a privilege to work together with uh, iconic figures like Professor Serhuis and Professor Windecker, Professor Thomas and uh, Dr. Leon. And, uh, but it has been a team effort. And uh, it, the idea um, developed in 2012, and uh, the background was we are all familiar to textbooks. Right, and uh, but this is 2014 now, and now everybody has a tablet, and everybody wants to have their information right where they where they want to have it, and this is where your tablet is. So, uh, so this was one one piece of the the idea. The other aspect was that um, try to explain a, v a very ingenious concept like a valve design and convert it into words. It's very difficult to explain a valve design to somebody who has not been familiar with the technology. And that's where the visual illustrations come into play. And I think that's the big difference between the atlas and a textbook. In an atlas, you have the illustrations that speak for itself. And that was the general idea of getting it into this project. So, so it's an exciting value for the entire community. Well, there you say it. It's the interactivity that makes a, a difference uh, between a book and a tablet-based atlas, yes. But it also is a responsibility for you to be sure that it has the, the cutting edge material and it's constantly updated. Yes, but that's, uh, and that's the credit of the entire network that has been involved with the Atlas. That it's, it's an enormous network of people and uh, everybody or the majority is familiar with the industry, with other experts, and so we get a wealth of information. So, but indeed, it's a responsibility to have everything up to date. Right. Now, in this, this huge Atlas, you, you, were, you focus on, on one particular chapter. I know that. You want to tell us a little about your chapter? Yeah. So I was responsible for the procedural aspects. And, uh, but, you know, a procedure, it, it goes from A to Z, right? You need, you need uh, basic catheters. You need the valve. You, you, you may need um, accessories and so on. But we specifically zoomed into how each valve that is out there is being deployed. There are several ways of displaying that. You can use angiographic views, but you can also uh, think about creating a phantom model. And that was the, the idea that we had. <clears throat> we made a 3D print of a CT scan, mm -hmm. and so we ended up with a reconstructed thoracic aorta. The aortic root is the part where we implant the valve, and we, we developed aortic root docking stations. So we had for each valve, we had an aortic root dock. <clears throat> so what we did was we implanted a valve in that root, then we took out the root, we implanted another root, and we, get, we went in with another valve. The interesting part, or the nice feature there, was that we had a uniform way of implanting these devices. And that is, I think, a some state-of-the-art way of displaying in a uniform fashion and to be able to expose the specific uh, features of each device yes, uh, platform. You need to learn your way into a design right. and if you have a visual appreciation that will expedite that process for sure. Yes, yeah, so, so it's a kind of protocol that you can use as new valves are developed. Yes, yes, indeed. And indeed. so it becomes, a, it becomes a natural measure for other valves. Yes, but just to, to be sure uh, and to make it clear, this was not science. This was all about displaying. You want to offer the community a visual uh, perspective on each valve design. Well, I think it was a privilege to be part of this, but uh, the journey did not stop here. So this is a continuous effort, and we, we are all about updating the Atlas, and it's going to be different one year from now, because we will, we will keep on introducing new material, updating the material, so uh, it's uh, an evolving process. As Tavi evolves. Exactly, exactly. <laughs>